my channel. Today I'm going to pop in for a very casual video. I just I just realized I don't even have my ring or earrings on or anything. I am in a, just a cozy t-shirt, which I have to talk about really quickly because this is like my favorite t-shirt ever. Oh, can you see? Jesus and coffee. My first favorite thing ever and my third favorite thing ever after family and friends and Jesus. So I just oh, I love this shirt. So I just wanted to point that out, but it's just a really casual video. I posted a picture on Instagram last week, I believe. I'll put it, I'll insert it. I may even have used it as my thumbnail picture. I don't know, but I had a lot of, not a lot, but a few of y'all requested, um, that I make a YouTube video based on those palettes. And what I decided to do is because I have not added a makeup artist series video in quite a while, I decided that I would probably, I would not probably, but would start one that consisted of like the eyeshadows I carry in my kit, the blushes I carry in my kit, the bronzers I carry in my kit, the foundations I carry in my kit, because it's been a while since I've talked about that and it's changed. And I'm also going to tell you why I chose to put them in my kit. So I'm going to start out with eyeshadows because that is what I posted on Instagram. So if you are interested to see the eyeshadows I carry in my kit and find out why, then just keep on watching. Now, if you are new to my channel, I am predominantly a bridal makeup artist. Um, I would say probably 70 to 75% of my work is bridal. Um, I am freelance. I do know, do own my own business and I work with me, myself and I, um, I, what am I going to learn to turn this off? I love weddings ever since the first wedding I did. I had just felt something in my deep within my soul that that is where I'm supposed to be. I know that sounds dramatic, but it's true. It's where my heart is. Um, but I also do photo shoots and I've done some production and, you know, I'm not solely a bridal makeup artist. However, the shadows that I picked to, to, to take with me on most of my jobs are going to be more for bridal. I do have shadow palettes that I will pick from and take to jobs according to what the job is. And I'll tell you about that after my main three palettes that I take, which is the ones that I pictured on Instagram. So I have two large Makeup Forever palettes. These are their metal palettes, and I believe these are the extra large. And I have them labeled, one is shimmer and one is matte. You do want to make sure if you work in production that you keep your shimmers separate from matte because if just one speck of a mica particle gets into a matte shadow, it will show up on camera. So just in the case that I do production or anything like that, I like to keep them separate. And really, it's just more efficient that way anyways. So I'll open up the shimmer quickly for you and I'm not going to go into every shadow and I'm not even really going to swatch all of them. I might pick one that's like my favorite that I'll swatch, but um, this is just an overview. So this is my shimmer palette. So right here we have Viseart shadows. These are all of the shimmer shadows that have come in the theory palettes. So I have the, I'm trying to not blind y'all. I have the amethyst, the pink one. What's that called? I don't remember. And the cashmere and the minks. So those are all of the shimmer shadows that came out of those palettes. I have some ColourPop and Makeup Geek right here. I really do like ColourPop press shadows, especially their shimmer um, version. I have a couple of Makeup Forever right here. And these right here are actually Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight powders. I put them in there for two reasons. One, because I don't have near as many shimmer shadows as I have matte, so I had the room and it saved me from having to make a separate highlight palette. And two, because I do often use these colors as eyeshadows. So it just seemed appropriate for me to put them in the shimmer palette. Um, and then I do have right here, I have two sets of the NARS duos. I believe it is Isolde and I don't know what the other one is. I can't remember. But basically, the reason that I chose these or A is because I think the quality of whatever shadow is in this palette is going to be exactly what I need it to be or else it would not have made it into the palette. The Viseart Shimmer Shadows are by far my favorite shimmer formula for what I do. It's not in your face, but you can build it up to be in your face. They are absolutely beautiful and the colors are exactly what that I like to use on my brides and bridesmaids. I have a couple of inner corner 
shadows that I always use. This one right down here came in the Cashmere palette from Viseart. It's the lightest shimmer shade. It's my favorite inner corner and brow bone highlight if I am looking for a shimmer. I have a foiled, I believe this is, yeah, starry eyed foiled shadow from Makeup Geek. I don't typically use foils, but I do really like that color. It's very rose gold. This is gorgeous. Very similar to um, Starry Eyed. I feel like, let me get, if I drop this palette, I will cry. This is called Vivacious from ColourPop. It's a really pretty, there you go, you can see it catching the light, pink undertoned color. Um, don't be afraid to use pinks and purples on brides. If you know how to use them, they will look absolutely stunning. So that's my shimmer palette. This is the one that I keep, I open up my shimmer and matte palette on every single job, no matter what, and have it laying out on my table. And then I will pop in other palettes accordingly if I need, need to. So these are the shimmers that I keep with me on every job. Now this is my baby. This is the matte palette. This is the one that sees the most love from me. Um, I'm so sick to my stomach. When I depotted the Viseart Grande Pro, which is in here, um, one of the shadows broke and because the little edge broke, it's like every time I open this, a bigger piece falls out. So eventually I'm just not gonna have that shadow anymore and it was one of my absolute favorites. So I just cry every time I open it. And now I've got shadow all over my fingers. Okay, this is my matte palette. This is something that I literally could not work without. Um, if I had to be very, very, very simplistic in my packing of my kit, this would be the only palette that I took. I cannot work without these mattes. So obviously all of this right here and these five rows are the Viseart Grande Pro palette. Let's see, these right here on the bottom row, and then these three right here are the mattes that came out of the Theory palettes that I own. These are some Makeup Forever shadows, and down here is Makeup Geek. And then I have one NARS, I believe this is Bengal. Am I correct in saying that? Yes, Bengal. I just really like the undertone of that. Um, so I have that one baby NARS just in there all but. Obviously I picked the Viseart because again, they can't be beat in their quality. They truly are professional. And all of these colors, they set the Grande Pro up to where you can mix all of these colors if you needed to, to make another color that you may not have within the 30 shades that were in there. Um, you know, obviously I'm not gonna use those, these bright colors as much. However, I can mix them to brighten up that color. I can add a little bit of that orange if I want a little bit more of a warm undertone and I have a little bit more orange tint to it, but I don't want it to be that orange. And that's the kind of thing like you you want to mix and play but they're so easy to work with they blend absolutely phenomenally these are very staple colors from makeup forever i adore this one m546 and it is a beautiful um rose toned taupey color it's kind of a big version of is it dusty lilac from anastasia which i absolutely adore Makeup Forever shadows are very high quality, very easy to blend, very easy to work with. And then these are staple Makeup Geek shadows. Cream Brulee, Frappe, Latte, Cocoa Bear. Um, what did they call the, they're black. Why is that totally, I worked with Noir from Anastasia yesterday, so I'm corrupt. Corrupt, which I will say I do prefer the Noir from Anastasia Beverly Hills if I'm going to do a deep smoky eye, which I did on a photo shoot yesterday in the Noir just can't, it worked perfectly. I've got Cupcake, which is a beautiful pink color. Just anything that I would absolutely need. And and this, I lost my insert for my Makeup Forever palette and my shimmer one, but I much prefer to double protect my mattes. So I make sure to put that in there before I close it up. And the third palette that was in that picture is another must have for me. I have two of these. I bought one, I was sent one, so I chose to keep one personally and to keep one in my kit. It is the Persona palette, Persona Identity palette. This is so dirty, don't pay attention to that because it has been well loved, but it is from a consumer standpoint, a palette that you must have. You just must have. Um, it has 12 shades, six are matte, six are, but it's got a bronze, it has a gold, it has a taupey rose gold, it has a beautiful inner corner highlight, the sassy. My favorite colors are, let me see, 
I love Seductive. I'm gonna try to swatch them for you. I love Goddess and I really like Bombshell. This like olive -y green. A very wearable olive green though. I have such wrinkly hands. I don't know if that's gonna show up. These colors right here. So right down here is, I believe that's Goddess. And then this one is Bombshell and then Seductive up top. So it's just, they, they're they super pigmented. They're super easy to work with. They never ever get muddy. The mattes are very easy to use. I don't think it's gonna be long before I hit pan on Charming, this really nice brown color. And then I almost always, if I'm using this palette, will use Maverick either on the lower lash line or the outer V. It's just very well priced and very high quality. I do have a separate Zuka pouch that has all of my other palettes that I take. So this also includes blushes. Um, if I have a bronzer palette, a cream blush palette, whatever, it includes it in this one. Um, I have found that that's really all that I need. I'm trying to pare down my kit a little bit, but within this, it's got my brow palette in here. Now let me preface showing you this by saying I am an overpacker in all areas of my life. I overpack my kit. I overpack for trips. I am a better safe than sorry type of person. So there is no reason you need this many eyeshadows in your kit. You can for sure get by with what I just showed you, but these are the extra ones that I do carry in my kit. I've talked about these before, I feel like endlessly, but it's the Lorac Unzipped and the Lorac Unzipped Gold. So if somebody comes to me and says, I like a cranberry rose gold eye, I immediately pull out this palette. It has every color from start to finish that I would need to complete a, a full look using those tones. I've talked about before this unbridled down here, this cranberry color is one of my very favorite cranberry toned eyeshadows there is. Gorgeous rose toned taupe shimmer colors, a nice matte cream color. This one has been used and adored plenty. And then this one is the unzipped gold palette. So the mirrors are so powdery. I promise I do clean my stuff. They do it's so easy to get dirty. Um, so this is basically every peach and gold color you would need shimmer wise. And then for nice matte slash satin shadows to darken up the look. So I do like to carry those extra. I do find that I use them quite often. Now these are the last eyeshadows that I carry in my kit and they are my 12 pan Viseart palettes. Can you tell I love Viseart? There's not much they do that I don't love. This is the neutral mattes. This gets the most love and it gets so much love that the top broke off of it because I dropped it in one of my weddings, but rest assured nothing broke inside and that's the most important part. So now I'll just make sure that something's on top of it in my um, Zuka bag and don't really worry about it too much. I also have the cool mattes, which is the, has the grays and purples and a little couple blues and then that one random pink. I have actually, when I have forgotten my brow book before, I have reached into the cool mattes to do brows because they do have nice ashy undertoned shadows. I also have the dark mattes. This is probably the one I use the least. However, when I do want something, especially purple or very warm toned, I will pop into this palette. I adore this palette. It's, it might be my personal favorite out of all of them, um, but it definitely is not an all-in-one look unless you're doing a strictly smoky eye with no highlighting whatsoever. And this is the only shimmer palette I have from Viseart and it is the Sultry Me. Now I know a lot of people, the 12 pan palette shimmers are different than the theory palette shimmers. These are more of a wash of color. Let me get it up. It's more of a wash of shimmer on the eye, which some people don't like. They want something a little more intense. However, when I have a bridesmaid or a bride, which this happens more often than not, come to me and say, you know, I don't wear makeup on a, on a regular basis. I just want to look natural. I automatically reach for this because it is just that nice wash of shimmer and it looks beautiful on the eyelid. Let me see if I can get a couple of good. I mean, there are some sleeper shades in here. That one right there, that one is absolutely gorgeous. That one down there. And then where'd I put the other one? 
That one up here, you're not going to be able to see as much. That one has a little bit more of a chunky glitter in it, but it's still gorgeous for a topper. That is what I like these shadows for to top. So a lot of times if I'm very, very pressed for time, I will, when I'm working on bridesmaids, I will do a wash of color out of one of these palettes. Um, a lot of times I will go in with one of these colors like that or that just a light wash of color all over their lid and up into the crease. And then I will go and top it with one of these shimmers and they are good to go. They feel comfortable in it. They still look stunning. Their eyes still pop. And it was super easy and super fast on my time crunched wedding. So that is what I carry in my kit for eyeshadows. Now rest assured if I've talked before about having used some kind of palette on a client, I wasn't lying. I will take different palettes with me depending on the job again if if it's a one client job and they have a specific look that they want that i can't cover in those palettes i will bring something else so if i have mentioned before again that i've used another palette on a job i wasn't lying that's just what i carry in my kit and what lives in there it does not come out unless i am working so hopefully you enjoyed this video i'll probably do blush or bronzers next let me know which one you would be interested in seeing I really appreciate you watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you appreciate my content, be sure and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, I thank you very much for watching and hope you all have a very blessed day.